come. Kind of, I thought. I don't know what she was trying to do. Trying to go in or what in the bush or. Yeah, it's 5.15 in the morning. Uh, yesterday she started, uh, you know, to get itchy. I checked her, um, she doesn't have any ticks or anything like this. I think the problem is um, she finally started to lose some hair, but unfortunately in her ears. You know, uh, Lizzie, Lizzie, pretty. Um, you know, her all other friends started to losing, you know, to change uh, the coat, their coats. Lisa is still in, uh, in the, still wearing the winter collection. Okay, a little bit more information regarding Slovenian public sector. So, in Slovenia, we have government, which is of course a political body, which is elected through the, our national representatives and so first they elect a candidate who gets a mandate to form the government so basically the, the president of the government the prime minister and he has to then um, he then puts candidates for different areas, for different ministries, and they once again go back to the parliament, and they get um, voted on. So each minister gets voted on. They are now trying to change this um, so that only the prime minister will be um, voted on and all the others will be just appointed by him which will shorten the process quite significantly and i think then there is like a um, rule that when two-thirds of the if at least two-thirds of the candidates for ministers um, are positively you know confirmed then the government can uh, get, can form and then of course you have ministers who are you know in charge for different areas which are governed which they govern these areas through ministries and ministry is then so in America you will have like department in this case so you, let's say you have state department we have uh, foreign affairs ministry well currently uh, in this government they changed so we have uh, Minister so the Zunani in Europske Zadeve, which is Ministry for Foreign and European Affairs. And uh, so, how ministries are structured? Every ministry has so called Upravni del, which is basically administrative. Part, which is the core so this will be basically what you would call um, the office workers you know so they 
work on different areas regarding their ministry and that's it and then usually all the ministries have also Lizikangrimo have so-called independent bodies in Slovenia's uh, Neodvisni Urgan directly translated as an independent organ but yeah body is apparently what we use in English and they are the highest um, let's say forms of organizational unit which belong are part of the some ministry so for example Ministry of Internal Affairs they have um, police which is the independent um, body and they also have inspectorate for internal affairs which is also independent body and Lizzie Griva no? there is a guy you can just see his head who just released the dog and this is why we are waiting Pemo and for example um, in Ministry of Defense you have um, administrative part really easy then you have um, Slovenian armed forces as an in well the general staff of Slovenian armed forces which of course controls the Slovenian armed forces so they are one and there is of course um, administration for uh, military heritage which is one of the independent organs and inspectorate for defense matters oh, let me think and there is administration for um, natural and other disasters um, and yeah I think that's it and you, you have basically okay we are just walking in the middle of the road Apparently we are doing this. So yeah, you know, every ministry has, you know, like the core, which are basically, you would say, office workers. And then you have, you know, their um, independent, so-called independent, um bodies which actually are working on these areas you know ministry for education you know they have their own administrative part they have the inspectorate and then they work you know with the schools which are independent bodies Okay, let's end and where I am. I am part of uh, administrative administration. So administrative part there is where I belong. Okay, let's end on this point.